Uh, now to a story affecting every American, the rising cost of groceries. Fruit and vegetable prices went up 5% in 2021, according to government figures. Now, orange juice may soon be in the shorter supply, making breakfast more expensive as well. Manuel Bajorquez is in Florida with more on this story. Jerika, good morning. Florida officials say this fruit represents a $6.7 billion industry in the state that supports more than 30,000 jobs, according to the latest figures. But in citrus groves like this one, an invasive insect is spreading a disease called citrus greening to once healthy trees, and that's taking a bite out of the crop. See all that? That's all next year's crop right there. At one of his groves outside Orlando, Brian Farina showed us what a healthy orange tree looks like. That's what you want. Yep, so this is what we want. And what a tree plagued by citrus greening looks like. So it kills it from the inside. Yeah, all the roots are going to go first. Wow. So when you have no roots, you have no leaves, no fruit. Some trees don't die, but produce oranges that are smaller, green, and have less sugar. Not as sweet, harder to sell, and bad for business. There is no known cure for citrus greening. In fact, in groves like this one, it's safe to assume most trees have some degree of it. One telltale sign, the amount of fruit that's fallen to the ground or is unusually small. Here's how hard Florida's orange crop is getting squeezed. At its peak, the state produced more than 244 million boxes of oranges a year. This year, it's forecast to produce only 44.5 million. Prices for orange juice concentrate rose nearly 14 percent in the last year amid strong demand during the coronavirus pandemic. And the low crop yield will likely drive prices even higher in 2022. About 93% of the crop goes into juice processing. We've seen strong, stable demand for Florida orange juice, but we don't quite have the production that we had before. The disease is threatening family farms like Farina's. His grandparents started it 70 years ago when they first put down roots in Lake County, Florida. This is what you devote your life to. Yep, yeah, all of our land is citrus. And so when you hear numbers like that, it is devastating. Florida's Fruit and Vegetable Association says over much of the past two decades, the number of acres harvested for oranges in Florida has dropped by more than half as some farmers look for other work or sell their land to developers. Brian Farina, for one, says he does not plan to sell his land, but he has diversified what he grows. Tony? Manuel Bojorquez in Umatilla, Florida. They call it nature's hometown, explaining why the price of orange juice keeps going up. Manny, thank you very much.